This is a very interesting question. It's a GMAT hard math question from statistics and averages. Not so much of calculation at all in it, but perceiving what the term median means, what maximizing median means, those ideas are basically tested in this question. Right? It helps us actually understand the concept of median really well when we complete solving this question. Positive integers from 1 to 45 inclusive are placed in 5 groups of 9 each. So from 1 all the way up to 45, we have 45 positive integers. What we are doing, we are breaking them into group 5 groups, each group containing 9 integers. Right. What do we have to find out? What is the highest possible average of the medians of these five groups? Let's start from here. We're trying to find out medians for these five groups. So we place them into five groups. In each group, there are nine numbers. So you will write those numbers, whatever be those numbers, right? It could be 1, 18, 21, 29, 33, some way you're writing nine numbers. We're going to write them in ascending order. The fifth number, because there are nine numbers, the fifth number, I'll call it as N5. N5 in ascending order in each of these groups is going to be the median. So we're finding out the medians for these five groups. We're trying to find out the average of the medians. So you pick the median for group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, find out the average for it. We're not finding out the average for some randomly distributed group. We want to find out for the average such a way that we are able to get the highest possible average. What could, how high can the average of the medians of these five groups be? You are given complete freedom to distribute these 45 numbers into nine numbers each in five groups. You do whatever way you want, but find out what way if you distribute will you get the highest possible average is what this question is all about. So let's get this idea in place. Let's start with group one. We are writing numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 in this group. Obviously, the fifth number in this group is going to be the median to this group. Right. Now, we will just work on group 1. We will go to group 2, group 3 subsequently. Right? This is a lot easier to start with group 1. We want the median for group 1 to be the highest, right? Because it's quite evident if you want the highest possible average for each of these things, let's call the medians to be M1, M2, M3, M4, M5. You find the highest possible value for the medians of each of these groups. Then the average is also con con concomitantly going to be the highest possible average. So I want to maximize M1, M2, M3, M4, M5. Now, M1 is the fifth number in the sequence when you write it in ascending order within that group, which means highest, second highest, third highest, fourth highest, right? Fifth highest, one highest, second highest, third, fourth, fifth highest number is what we are looking at. We have numbers from 1 to 45. So we want this to be the fifth highest number, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41. So for the first group, the largest possible median for it is basically a 41. So no other group, anything that you do, you need four numbers after the median. And those four numbers will have to be the highest possible numbers. For some group, it's going to be 42, 43, 44, 45. So median cannot be a number which is greater than 41. So largest possible median for one of the groups, let's say call it group 1, is a 41. That much is established. Now, N1, N2, N3, N4, one thing is clear. It can be any of the numbers other than these five. So we have 40 numbers that we can fill there. But should these be, for example, 39, 38, 40, 39, 38, 37? Yes, it could very well be. Can it be 1, 2, 3, 4 either? Also, yes, it is possible because if it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, the median happens to be a 41 for this. We need the medians of each of these sets to be maximized. So we need to ensure that as high a value as possible is pushed to the last five numbers. We have exhausted the last five numbers in the set. 41 to 45 has been used up with group 1. There is no point expending any more high value numbers into this N1, N2, N3, N4 of the first set. Let's look at what next highest numbers that are available. If these five numbers are removed, what are the next highest possible five numbers we have? Those are basically 40 downward. So for set 2, if I keep it as 40, 39, 38, 37, 1, 2, 3, 4, Right? And 36 becomes a median for the second set. So what we did is we picked the first set and we picked the highest largest five numbers and placed them as the fifth to the ninth number of the first set. Then we said we want the medians to be as high a value as possible. Therefore, we are not going to expend any more of the higher values available in the remaining 40 numbers. We're going to, in the first four values, we're going to use those high value numbers for the fifth to the ninth number of each set. 
having exhausted 41 to 45 what is the next highest five numbers that we have 36 to 40 we are placing that in the second group we're not going to bother about n1 to n4 for the second group either we'll come to that later moving to the third group we are essentially going to start with 35 of the highest num of the numbers left out we have numbers from 1 to 35 left out for us let's keep the highest five in this set 35 34 33 32 31 becomes the median for the third set we have numbers from 1 to 30 left place 30 here 29 28 27 26 is the median for the fourth group the last one we have last 20 first 25 numbers left 25 24 23 22 21 now how many numbers are we left we left with 20 numbers we have to break them into groups of five for the first four values place them whichever way you want you can place one two three four five six seven eight or you can basically keep one two three four here and you can keep essentially we have up to 20 20 19 18 17 here the medians will not change one two three four 21 22 23 24 25 median is 21 is 17 18 19 20 41 42 43 44 45 41 happens to be the median so the idea is we want to maximize the medians for each of these groups the median gets maximized when we place the rightmost number starting from the median as as high a value as possible the values of the medians keep increasing pick the last first highest five numbers available 41 to 45 let's say we gave it to group one so 41 happened to be the median next group we want to maximize the median so we're going to pick the next available highest five numbers right we exhausted 41 to 45 we are left with 1 to 40 so 36 to 40 goes to a second group 31 to 35 from the fifth number to the ninth number of the third group 26 to 30 the fifth to the ninth number of the fourth group and 21 to 25 the fifth to the ninth number of the last group so our highest possible medians are 21 26 31 36 30, 41 so 21 26 31 36 41 are our highest possible medians so highest possible average for that is going to be the sum of these five values divided by five you can add them up and find the answer but we also know a trick these numbers are all in an arithmetic progression with a common difference of five there are odd number of terms in it 21 26 31 36 35 the middle number is going to be the average so the highest possible average of the medians of these five groups is a 31 choice b is the correct answer to this question